This annual ritual of the of the budget. We expect today you will depend what we did in 20 and 2020 and present um, 2021 budget for our approval. Um, equally, we saw on the budget that the budget of MBET was taken to Federal Ministry of Finance from the executive end. As far as we are concerned in this parliament, MBET still remain under the five view of Committee on Power. Um, we, you have to go and sort out yourself within your hierarchy. We have written several letters. We communicated between we and you. And the Honorable Minister, I had a personal conversation with the Honorable Minister that I told her that we have what we call standing order of this parliament and it still remain here. And this standing order will only be changed in the 10th assembly, that is inshallah in 2023 if we are alive. So this, the president has the prerogative to do that, but there is a legal way of doing things. And I, re, I was, li, I reliably learned that the president has also directed as such. So we await the executive to do the needful. So inshallah, Embed will be coming in, uh, uh, by 3 p.m. to defend their budget before the joint committee of, power, of House and Senate today. Thank you. You can present your budget. I most sincerely thank the chairman and the honorable members of the House of Representatives Committee on Power for the opportunity to define my ministry 2021 fiscal budget proposal. Proposal provision of the electricity is one of the five key priorities of the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan, ERGP, of the federal government, particularly provision of reliable, sustainable, and uh, affordable power. The Federal Ministry of Power is a focal ministry for the effective policy direction and implementation of all power sector initiatives, as well as the driver of the electric power sector reform as provided under the electricity power sector reform, EPSR Act 2005. The ministry under my leadership is delivering on its mandate despite the obvious challenges in the electricity supply value change, especially at the distribution end. As I mentioned earlier, one of the priorities of the ERGP is to ensure energy sufficiency in power and petroleum products. In addition, the ERGP aims to improve the energy mix through greater use of renewable energy. Goal number 27 of the ERGP define government focus on delivering incremental power by optimizing non-operational capacity, encouraging small-scale power projects, and ensuring long-time capacity addition. Goal number 28 commits government to policy interventions that improve the commercial viability of the industry operators. Honorable Chairman and members, the Nigerian power sector remains one of the most challenging sectors of the Nigerian economy. However, the sector has, in the last five years, recorded significant achievement under the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. Some of these achievements are presently here under uh, the Abu leadership of President Mohamed Buhari, the country grid power capacity has increased significantly from the time this administration took over in 2015 to date. Today, the installed grid capacity generation capacity has reached 13,000 megawatts from 8,000 megawatts in 2015. Similarly, transmission capacity has increased to 8,000 megawatts from 5,000 megawatts in 2015. The distribution system have the capacity to evacuate 5,500 megawatts of power having growth from 
4,500 megawatts in 2015. The private sector run distribution system have the best, have the least capacity in the power value chain. During the period between 2015 to date, the sector has recorded success and has faced challenges. In order to deliver these administrative promises of providing stable and affordable power to Nigerians as a way forward was defined and supported by Mr. President's political will. This was aimed to reset the power sector using special government intervention that cover policy, regulatory, operational, financial, and other support measures to incentivize growth under the power sector reform policy, PSRP. Based on the above mentioned effort, the quality of service enjoyed by electricity consumers in Nigeria has improved, as evidenced by the recent report from the National Control Center, NCC Osobu, which recorded highest energy generation per day in the history of the Nigerian electricity market, delivering 112,488 megawatt hour of energy on 8 April 2020 while the grid also recorded the highest peak generation ever of 5,420 megawatts on 17 September 2020. This indicates an improvement in the supply of quality and reliable electricity. Furthermore, nationwide, there are reports of improvements in the number of hours Nigerians are providing with electricity this will only get better with the implementation of the semen electri uh, electrification roadmap. Now, summary of the 2020 appropriation implementation status. Uh, the capital appropriation, originally appropriation, was uh, 8.7 billion, and the overhead the current appropriation was 249. 0.5 million, and the personal cost 854.1 uh, million. Now the grand total 9 billion 858 million 912,718 naira zero kobo. Now amended appropriation. Capital appropriation 8.7 billion. Overhead, 174 million, and personal cost, 854.1 uh, million. Now total, 9 billion, 782 million, 835 and 35,916 naira, zero kobo. Now I'm a release in the air. Capital appropriation that is a uh, four billion nine hundred and fifty two million six uh, four hundred and sixty seven thousand six hundred and twenty five naira thirty eight kobo. Overhead recurrent appropriation one hundred and twenty two point eight million personal cost six hundred and twenty two point six million. Grand total five billion six hundred and ninety five, five billion six hundred and ninety seven million nine hundred and sixty one thousand seven hundred and ninety four naira fifty three kobo. Now expenditure to date. The capital is two billion five hundred and seventy two million five hundred and thirty three. Naira six uh, hundred sixty seven Naira eleven Kobo. Overhead uh, one hundred and six point seven million. Personal cost six hundred and twenty two point six uh, million, totaling three billion three hundred and two million one hundred and fifty five thousand five hundred and four Naira. Uh, balance in the capital 2.3 billion, then the overhead 
15.8 billion personal cost, 231.4 million grand total, 2 billion, 627 million, 290,000, 175, 6 naira, and then 62 kobo. Then in percentage grades, uh, the capital appropriation so far is 51.94%. The overhead is 87.08%. Personal cost, then 72.8%. Film commitment procurement status report on 2020, appropriation performance. Uh, here are goods. The goods 473 million, works 1 billion 930 million, then constituency 750 million, concession zero, uh, ongoing progress project payment 1 billion 470 million, uh, total. 4 billion 623 million naira only. Now, executive summary of 2021 budget proposal. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. If you look at the spreadsheet on capital, uh, generally, I notice that most of your projects are ongoing and allocations, yes, are given, yes, and some, no allocation at all. Despite the fact that they are ongoing, I believe that um, what we should do is to make sure we capture, <coughs> because that's where I'm, I'm addressing, we capture those low-hanging fruits. What do I mean by low-hanging fruits? Those projects that have attained maybe 75% and above completion, so that we can easily complete those ones and forget about them. Two, the names of the contractors are not even reflected here, despite the fact that they are ongoing projects, and which is very, very key for us. So with that, especially, and also reflect the percentage uh, completed so that at a glance one will be able to tell that okay if this is 80 percent completion we should be able to allocate uh, <coughs> money to those areas because what you have here is that uh, amount appropriated in the budget, in that year's budget, not the contract sum. So with amount appropriated and the contract sum, we will have a clear picture of why the justification for appropriating that sum of money into that project. Thank you. My question is that from your presentation, you didn't tell Nigerians how much is the ministry and its agencies generating as a revenue to Nigerians? Secondly, uh, how many Nigerians are still not getting the services they deserve? Can you justify continuing to expenditure into this sector? Thank you. Uh, with your kind permission, Mr. Chairman, I may wish my colleagues from the ministry who are the professional will assist me in answering some of the questions. But I will give you in summary some, and if you need detail, my directors are here available. They can go to it. Now, the distribution. Uh, the first honorable member asks whether what is the problem of the distribution end? 
because most of the problem we are facing in the sector presently mainly is distribution and it is true that it is distribution I want to tell you here we are doing our best and I want to tell you here there is a plan ongoing there is a PPA that has been now initiated by Mr. President for this project which is a distribution uh, uh, distribution project uh, in this uh, uh, thinking of Mr. President, which is a very fantastic one, the seamen that are coming from Germany, they are going to come to align between distribution and transmission. Our major problem here is the alignment, and we are, are taking care of it. Uh, very soon, the project is about to commence. Then we will now improve from the usual generation, upgrading to 7,000 megawatt in the first phase. And we are going to move in the second phase to 11,000 megawatts, where we are going to improve both the transmission and the distribution. And then the last phase, we're going to improve both the generation. No, I, I want to answer the, the, the question of the Honorable. It's, it's a lot, it's a foreign, it's a foreign long. Coming out from the German government, is government to government, is bilateral. I don't know whether I've answered your question, the first probable, whether I have now answered your question on how to improve the distribution. Yeah, on distribution, how to improve distribution, and what we are spending in the bush so far, there is a presidential power initiative, PPA, PPI, which is initiated by Mr. President to come and align between distribution and transmission, and that is what is ongoing at the moment, pending when the cement comes to come and now align between distribution also and uh, transmission, both with the generation in phases. Forty percent. Oh, Nigerians Federation has forty percent. That make the the entities to be a hundred percent. So who do we blame for non investment in infrastructure? Because we, you and them are both shareholders. Where does the problem lies? Because let's let uh, give example. Um, Benin Disco. They own 60 percent. The promoters and we own 40 percent. And every day, if I come to work, the first letter I receive from my colleagues is request for transformer or the alignment of some conductors. So where does the problem lies? That is what he's asking. Who are we holding responsible? Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. You know, the issue of this 60-40 um, is a matter of law. It's a law, it's a matter of law. Because it is the responsibility of the NAC I cannot now give you full detail of exactly what is going to happen or what is happening, but all I know it is 60-40 and the regulators, it is their responsibility and they have spelled it out clearly. This is the responsibility of the person with 60% and this is the responsibility of the person with 40%. While I am, uh, I am aware, maintenance of transformer, replacement of uh, cables, low voltage, that is 11 and uh, 0.415, the low voltage N, which involve low voltage transformers like uh, 500 below, 300, 200. All these transformers, whenever they are affected, it is the responsibility of the distribution company to replace. So if they don't, we hold them responsible. 
And if they don't again, there's a penalty for that. It is the NAC responsibility now to sanction whoever that is uh, responsible to, to take care of whatever that is happening in the low voltage site. Of course, that is what I exactly said. It is their responsibility. No, I'm saying it is. <laughs> That's what I say, Mr. Chairman. I said it is the responsibility of the discourse to replace transformers, low voltage transformers. You know, we have, we have you, you, you are an engineer, you know what I'm, I'm saying very well. I don't know to a layman whether they understand. Yeah. Of course, yes, they are not investing to some extent. I will not tell you all that, yes, they are or they are not, based on also they have their own claims. They are blaming government into the other side, that government are not allowing them to increase tariff. Why are they going to get the money to invest? They keep saying that. But it's not me. It's not here that I will sit down and tell you exactly what is uh, the rules or what is the procedure to follow. It is the responsibility, as I said, for NEC. Whenever there is a problem between the... the shareholders or the, the, the stakeholders, the, the, it is the neck that will now come in between and then they pass a judgment. Okay, thank, you. Oh, thank you very much. So uh, uh, which one again? And about the, the ongoing projects to be completed, yes, some projects are ongoing and they have to be com completed and the money uh, is, 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 is available. Whoever, whoever that uh, finishes job will come and be certified and then uh, paid. So it's not, it's not that we take this money and pay that person that because it is a low-hanging fruit that we should ship the money. We don't have problem with the, with the payment. And uh, I don't know exactly what is, what is happening, but my director of finance and the director of procurement are here. They can now uh, expand more on why. The observation of the honorable member is that the way the format, the way they presented the 2020 capital performance is not acceptable to us because there is no column for contract sum and there is no column for who are the contractors. So we hereby reject it. It's not accepted. Um, it has to be re redesigned so that at least it will make meaning. This is not the way it should be. I'm sure the your director of procurement is one of the oldest procurement managers in this country. He should have known better on how to give you this format to present. So I would like to ask him to stay behind with the director of finance so that at least they'll give us a proper format so that we can approve it. Is this acceptable to the committee? Yes. 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 So, yeah. Please. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I said billions of naira have been spending into that sector. The Ministry of Power and its agencies, can you tell Nigerians how much are they generating to the benefit of Nigerians? For example, I heard you saying that 60% for the successful companies, while 40% go to government. In which I know 30% go to government, 10% go to the employees. So what are the dividend of that 40%? And even the general Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, honorable uh, member. I, 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 in this case, I think, uh, you know, uh, what uh, most people don't understand in this sector, it is a sector that needs a very, very big money, so to say. No matter how much you spend in this sector, you cannot just see the, uh, the, the, the result at once. However, all these spendings and all these things that we do, or we spend and generate, is now based on the, uh, 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 the directors, the directorate that is responsible for, or there are, there are directors that are, that are responsible for or that can that are charged with the responsibility now to generate revenue and then use the revenue uh, at the right time maybe went uh, 
when we when you invite a TCN and uh, maybe uh, REA, I'm not too sure REA is generating much, but NERC, NERC also they are giving their own little names are also they are also giving, and I believe they are coming to this honourable house to also present their budget. I think this, uh, uh, with due respect, this question can be directed to 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 the respective agencies. Of the hydropower plants are concessioned. Some of the, the other power plants, the thermal power plants, are also privatized. The distribution sector, please silence, please, are also privatized. Example, we own 40% of Abuja Disco. Five years down the line, what is the dividends in terms of Nara and Kobu that accrued to government? And five years down the line, are the hydropower plant paying their concessions? And how much is it? Five years down the line, what is the remittance we receive from the Tamils generating plant that are also privatized. That's a simple question my colleague is answering, is, uh, is asking you, sorry. Thank you very much, Mr. Seman. Uh, <laughs> I've already mentioned from the beginning, there are some questions, with due respect, Mr. Chairman, and humility, that are not supposed to be directed to the ministry directly. Since the agencies are coming here, and I want to tell you that the question that are supposed to be responded by this is the embed, the BPE, and the NAC. These are the people that are put to watch. Yes, it's quite all right, sir. But it is something very composant. But it's something I can it's something very composant. Sorry, Mr. Chairman. It's something very composant. I cannot come up with a figure here. It's not detail. If I tell you one, I can take one detail of from one ministry that will operate status. We can spend the whole day here breaking down exactly. <laughs> the honorable chairman, honorable members, with the permission of the honorable minister. No, Thank you, sir. <laughs> Sir, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, with your permission, sir. Thank you. If you see the way the power sector is being structured, embed as at today is under the Ministry of Finance. No, 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 no but I was explaining the situation as it is. So they are the liaison in the power sector with all the discourse and the remittances. And they are, have the power, they have the details to answer this question adequately. Because... No pamphlet, no pamphlet. We have free information today. Anybody can ask, can, can get this information from anyone. It wasn't this one. You should, you should have this information as a team. Yeah, 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 Mr. Chairman, I think if you can give a chance, we can still uh, call them, collect, and then inform you. Because what I want to tell you exactly what is happening with Ember, you know, in every 30 days, in every month, we are now received with uh, uh, 155 billion naira invoice from the Ember. They are the ones responsible for. Commercial. Yeah, commercial. Yeah. said it from the beginning, 100% of generation, that is Genco's, are private. 60% huh? of distribution, also private. It's only 40% that is government. It's only transmission that we are 100%. So we cannot give you detail of private. We cannot poke us into private and now tell you their details. Come also and tell you the details because they generate and then the, the distributors, the, the, those who distribute, buy from them and they check and balance. It's something that. Uh, 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 
No problem. No, 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 no problem. My concern is uh, this uh, 10 megawatt Katsina wind farm. Can you kindly, Honourable Minister, shed light to this committee that what is really happening with that project? Katsina, 10 megawatt. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Seriman. Uh, Katsina, 10 megawatt wind wind farm is, is, is successfully going on. Uh, the project, uh, when I resume, it was now down. There was nothing working, to be frank with you, because when I investigated, I discovered that the contractor, those who are given the original contract, the person leading the team died. So everything has to start afresh. So I have to come and rush and then now make it a reality. As I'm talking to you now, almost 70 to 80 percent of the job has been completed. We have about 32 turbines that are working. Presently, we have finished uh, 28, a remaining six. Two out of it also, I was just collect, uh, collected a report last week. The two is now also working. So we have about 28 to 30 turbines that are working. So almost 70 to 80 percent is completed. Ah, it's working. It's now producing electricity. On the grid? On the grid. We join it to the grid. Yes. We produce electricity and send it to the grid. Of course, yes. We have to concession it. Honorable Minister, I'm appealing to you. I'm praying to you. Please don't concession it to KEDCO find a very serious uh, 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 organization to deal with it. Please, I'm begging you. They will destroy it, they will strip it off, and they will abandon it. Please. Uh, because we are victims. I'm just about 30 kilometers away from that wind farm, but my town, for the last five months or six months, there is no light. Just about 40 kilometers from that wind farm. Five, six months. Thank you. I wouldn't object anybody who is qualified to win the bid. And if Kerko is found to be worthy, and they will, do, they will have a very good backward reintegration, that they have the distribution and the generation, it may only, it may only solve our problem. Thank you. I came from Borno State. In Bo Borno State. State. And in Borno State, we have over 10 local governments that were never ever connected to the national grid. My appeal to you here is to see that a budgetary plan has been made for the connection of these local governments. Thank you. Thing <laughs> going on right now, of which Mr. President has given approval for the. Uh, mini grid and then and then uh, solar head home solar home system that is going on currently anywhere that there is not uh, there is no national grid uh, god willing we we, we 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 mr president has approved five million homes solar system that is about to be scattered all over the country all those less bridge village on the south community very well. I hope you will call Kanuna Kedko to order on this and instruct them to ensure they, they bring back light to that community. On another issue, we must consider those kind of uh, places, Jibia, um, Banky Town, all the communities with this our, our upgrade grid mini grid solution. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a whole community that has light before will stay for up to two to three months without light, unless there's a problem of 
transformer, and you have rightly said that is one of the major problems. You know, the discourse are fun of uh, taking excuses. They will tell you they don't have money when the transformer spoil. They don't come and fix it, and they, sometimes they even go out of their way to tell the community to contribute to come and fix their, 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 their transformers. And I, I, I give a very serious warning, whoever I found doing that will be, will be sanctioned. And I've even said there are some general managers from different locations that are caught with this uh, collecting money from people to buy a transformer, and uh, I order the disco to, 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 to sack them, and they, they, are, they, are, they are doing it. So I may not uh, exactly know where to say. Power supply twice in a month. And next month again, twice in a month. That's not power supply. That's what exists in Gibia. I'm from Gibia. Our people have the capacity to pay for the electricity they consume. We are rich, we are enterprising, and we are positioned in a very, very prosperous piece of land on this earth. Our people can pay, but we don't have this. We have written, we have written to Ketko. My people write a petition. I will call the MD. I know Gomna, I know him personally. I know the Indians that is the, the chief operator officer that is there. Nothing. We will buy the transformer, we'll we'll correct the conductors, we'll correct the lines, we'll buy poles. Yet they are not there to give the light to the people, the, the power to the people. People are ready to pay if they can render the services. That's the point I'm making. It's not that they, they, will, they will tell you, they will write you this uh, computer, they will print this computer power supply thing and send it to you. Fine, it's garbage in, garbage out. It's what you enter in the computer, it's what it will give you. Um, but in the, uh, make a survey, send an investigation, I'm not, accusing anybody. I just want to send an investigation they, at the rate, the percentage of power supply in Katsina, particularly in Katsina Central. Those local governments, the Kankia, Charanchi, Limi, Batagalawa, Kaita, Jibia. Find out what is actually happening there so that you will help the people. It's not my responsibility to give them power. I have told them. But then, it is my responsibility to do what I'm doing now, to talk on their behalf. It is for you to talk to these uh, operators, to talk to these uh, junkos or discos to do what they should do. My next question, Mr. Chairman, let me take the advantage of having this is Kashimbila. Why am I talking about Kashimbila? I'm the chairman of Water Resources. I know the Water Resources Ministry has 100 over the, the, electric com the, the power component. I have been there, but I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just imagining the amount of money you are putting, and yet you are not yet there to concession this place. What is happening? I'm seeing money, Kashimbila transmission. Concession this thing, get it off your self. It is ready, the 40 megawatts are ready. The water is there, line follow. The turbines, everything is there. I think we are almost at 92 percent completion. Yes, it's 100 percent. So what are we doing? What are, what are we doing? Uh, just, I'm just trying to encourage you. You are doing very well. Yeah, very well. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> As a professional, I'm happy. Yeah, one, of my, one of us that you know exactly what I mean. You know, construction of a dam is a different thing. Transmission line that will evacuate the lights that is generated is also a different thing. Successfully, the dam has been completed. It can now generate up to 40 megawatts, 100% finish. But what is left now is the transmission line that will take this generated light and send it to the national grid. That is the contract that is now ongoing. That is the one we want you to bless and also put more blessing to it so then within 18 months, it's in the budget part of it. It's, it's part of it in the budget, but part. 
Thank you very much. That did uh, answer your question. Also, on the issue of uh, three days, no light uh, is noted, and I want to tell you, I want to assure you, my ministry people will go and check. Uh, Mr. Uh, Honorable Minister, the area I came from, uh, Kogi East Senatorial District, is the worst hit. At least 70% of Kogi East they have not even seen pole, electric pole, talk more of having electricity, particularly my constituency. I said, the area I came from, yes. Kogi East. East as a whole, I said about 70 percent don't cannot even recognize electric pole because they haven't seen it. It's only when you see something that you can recognize it. So that is first of all, like Basa local government and the kind that I represented. The whole of Basa, more than two or three, uh, only like three or two or three main places ha have seen electricity. The other places, none at all. I have gone there, gone around everywhere, no light. Again, the few places that have light, we, that have uh, electrical installations, we don't see light because there's a problem of uh, transferring the transmission line from Ajakuta, that's Gerego Power Plant, across the river Niger to the Kogi East, keeping us in darkness. So even if we see light at all, it's like a lantern light, because it's coming from, I don't know, the power plant somewhere in the east, I don't know where. Over years, about 30, 40 years, that's what we'll be using. Meanwhile, we have a generating uh, uh, plant in Gerego that is supplying a lot of places. So we need a transmission line across the Niger. And that will solve uh, a greater part of the problem. Then the issue of not uh, uh, taking infrastructures to our different lo uh, uh, local governments will also uh, need to be addressed, Mr. Uh, Minister. Thank you very much. From our end. But I also want to tell you that I believe Niger data are also coming here for the defense anytime. There are some responsibilities that are put to them. You know, uh, their program is uh, baked into two. First, the, north, the, the southern part, then the second phase, the northern part. This type of transmission line that you want to cross the river, or the Niger, the river Niger, or river, what do you call it? River Niger is a very big project that is, 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 is above, yeah, so, so it is a, a, a the uh, major delta that are coming, the second phase in the north, I believe this one you are mentioning is part of the project that they will promote in the north. So uh, I still want to re uh, assure you that uh, something will be done in on it. Go to it. Thirty, over thirty-three and eleven KV. We maybe due to the nature of the site. That is why we say the mini grid. And there's a proposal on. It's not every every place that national grid will reach. These big big towers you see. It's not every place. It's not every town that can go. It's very expensive. Very cumbersome. Very yeah. So my name is Wali Raji. I represent a peripheral constituency of Lagos State. Now my question is on uh, the progress report or status report on Omotosho Ekwe Aja IPP project. This project, according to uh, information at our disposal, started about 10 years ago. And is supposed to address a major transmission, uh, prob I mean, generation uh, problem, you know, along that axis. In fact, it's supposed to feed up to Aja, you know, 
Uh, but unfortunately, it's like this project is taking forever. So I would like to know the status of this uh, uh, project. Because um, until I want, to, I want to commend the present administration that uh, well, have, we've noticed some improvement. I want to tell you, before 2015, my uh, constituency for close to 10 years did not have electricity at all. The electricity power, power, pool, I mean, power facil, I mean, infrastructure there, they were just mere decoration. You know, so I would like to know the status of this. And uh, I also want to uh, comment and advise on this issue of your 150 solar power project. Um, I want to advise that uh, in the selection of benefiting community towns and villages, please, please carry us, carry us along. We are not interested in the, in the contract, but what you people do not, people do not realize is this. When Mr. President, when he embarked on campaign, most times he will stop at the state capital. When governors, when they campaign for votes, they stop at local government headquarters. It is we that go to the wards. It is we that they have their telephone numbers. It is we that call on, the, on, on a daily basis. So we need to work together because we know where the, the, the shoe pinches because we, have, we wear it, you know. So we are the agent of, we are the face of the government down there. So uh, I will advise that, uh, we'll, I mean, I mean, we'll carry us along we know, because we know these uh, places better than any other person. That's by way of advice. And two, on the issue of uh, purchase of transformer and other, I mean, of pools and all what have you. When you say that, oh, uh, the policy, you have stated the official policy position, but we know the reality, you know, down there. Up till as late as about two weeks ago, I still bought pools for people in my constituency. People, the reality is that most of the discos are irresponsible. They are grossly irresponsible. You know, in actual fact, we do not know, even know whether we are better off under this present arrangement or the NEPA, I mean, uh, PSCN, that uh, we, uh, uh, we abandon. So I think we still need to do more. It is nothing but exploitation. Because people, they need power. Transformers will break down, or the transformers, when they even call on the discos, you know, to complain about it. Some, the disco officials will even carry away the transformers, and they are never returned. And then they are forced. When they are forced, the communities are forced, you know, I mean, they, will be, they have no choice but to buy. The, uh, they are something. And in most cases, they do not even have, they don't have the money to buy. They resort to the ele elected representatives who knock on their doors for, for votes. They don't, they don't come to, they don't complain to Mr. President. They don't complain to governors. You know, so uh, I think that uh, if there is a sanction, I mean, uh, we know it's illegal. It is nothing but exploitation but you need to do more to protect Nigerians. When with all this hunger that you see in the, in, the, in the country, this is accumulation of the various, I mean, disappointments, you know, from government. So that's uh, my comment on that. Thank you very much.
for this my question. I want to thank him because I've been practically on his neck uh, on the problem I'm having in my constituency. Just during this end SARS protest, they almost burned down my house. And what is my offense? The transformer in the town broke down. And so I must buy a transformer for them. In fact, here yesterday, I came to the chairman again, confronting him, and right here yesterday, he called being a legislative distribution agency. Yesterday, I have to borrow five million naira to buy a brand new transformer. When they started protesting again, and the only person, just like Honorable Raji said, the only person they can talk to who went to their doors, who begged for votes, is me. I've been on this transfer for more than one year. Mr. Minister, you need to help us. Because the truth about the matter is that the problem we are facing in the constituency is not, it's not a joke. It almost became a, a, an inter-quarters uh, uh, riot. Because my people were saying, this man is not the owner of Bessie. The place where transformers spoil, they say, no, it's the man they know. I have to borrow five million naira yesterday. I have the pictures here. Transformer to deliver in my constituency. We can talk a lot of English here, but we are facing hell, particularly on this issue of transformer. The problem again is you bring the transformer, they'll begin to give you bills. Yeah. Well, 200 yeah. this, you bring this before they install. They install again, they will say they will, not, they will not power them. They are owing them this, they are owing them that. They finish that, they say no, they have to meter their houses, or else they will not pay, they will not. This is wickedness. Honestly speaking, it, 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 it pains me. I've run from pillar to pole to several people. No result. And, and you see the kind of hard names they call us in our consistency. It's really awful. On this um, issue, I would like to also comment. You see, we have been under endless pressure. Um, every day I receive a minimum of 30 letters from my colleagues on the issue of infrastructure on the distribution end. Certainly we have to sit down and do something about it. The discourse must have to invest. Whereas they did not invest, the transformers we have been putting for them there must be a way for them to pay us back. Because it's really, it's really get, getting out of hand. One of my colleagues cannot make it to this budget defense because of a transformer. He's now in Casina. So you don't know who to call. The only person we know, Honorable Minister, is you. We don't know anybody and my happiness is me and you are on the same level. You are APC, I'm APC. <laughs> we are for the president, and we are for the president. So please, sanction the discourse. Punish them, please. If you do that, you'll be our darling. And you'll be a darling to Nigerians also. Because if you ask them, I asked one of the discourse, why are you not investing? He said, no, it is, a, it is the NAC that give us a small capex. They say we can spend only two billion naira. You know I've been an advocate of free power to Nigerians for a very long time. Because really Nigerians are cheated. We don't know what is the best arrangement. Whether, as Wale Raji said, whether we are better off when we are in PHSEN than now. The problem now, you put us in, honorable ministers, is that you allow them to have band A, band B, band C, and band D. They said even people in Burundi, in my village, we don't pay light, we don't pay for power, so they will not give us. It's not attractive for them to take power to my village. Despite my influence to ensure all the transformers in my community are brand new transformers, despite my influence to ensure that all the conductors wear are new, I have over 30 transformers in my village that are all new, but we don't have light. Because we are in band D. So they're only looking for band A and band B customers. So we are going to make a law to disband this banding of power. Power should be supplied 
equitably to anybody. This segregation must be stopped. And we, if you look at international, international policy on power, the policy said there should be electricity or power to all Nigerians. Why are we saying that? Why, why are you doing animal farms now? Some animals are more equal than others. Honorable Minister, you don't have to comment on this. All we want you is to act. Thank you. So let's go to the 2021 budget. Twenty twenty one. Now the executive summary of the twenty twenty one budget proposal. Uh, Mr. Chairman, please. Yes. My question is that one. Which one? Omotosho power project. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. That is why I keep quiet. First, in summary. In summary, is two is two things. One is the TCN responsibility now to complete this uh, job, and I will make sure that uh, I talk with the with the with the MD to furnish me with what exactly happened that this thing cannot even finish up to now. And then, uh, uh, secondly, you are talking about some villages that cannot get light, isn't it? Yes, I know. You are an advice on the issue of solar power. Solar power project we have. We have mapped out this country. We don't have any pro we don't have any project. We have a database system okay. that has taken care of the whole country. We identify all those places that don't have electricity, national grid, all those places that are supposed to be, you know, given a mini grid, those solar home systems, the whole 36 state is in our system for now. So anytime we have money or you people uh, provide money for us that we can we can go ahead to provide you electricity. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I've answered your question. Uh, are you, is that clear? This way with the response. Uh -huh, yes, yes, yes. To do. That's our plan. Thank you very much. Yeah, sorry. Yes, 2021. Uh, the total is um, 204,347,505,453 naira. The breakdown is as follow. Now, Federal Ministry of Power uh, Federal Ministry of Power uh-huh Nine nine hundred and eleven million four hundred and twenty-five thousand. My this my class and uh, five hundred and fifty-seven naira. Which one is this one? This is a this, this is, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yes, this is the and overhead is two hundred and forty-nine million five hundred and eight. Thousand one hundred ninety eight naira. The capital is one hundred seventy three million seven hundred billion one hundred seventy three billion seven hundred seventy eight million seven hundred and forty thousand one hundred fifty eight naira. Uh, and the total total allocation one hundred and seventy four billion nine hundred and thirty nine million six hundred and seventy six thousand nine hundred and thirteen. And uh, national rural electrification agencies, one billion, uh, one point zero four billion. That is the personnel. The uh, the, the overhead is ninety two uh, point zero two seven million. Capital seventeen point eight six four billion. And then total allocation for the. Uh, REA, 18.99 billion. And then Nigeria Electric Regulatory Commission, that is NAC, is only capital because they have nothing to do. They have no any projects. They generate money, and then uh, they don't need to be given so much. 
they can only be given capital. They have 294 million 64,276 naira. Total allocation 294 million 64,276 naira. And then Nigerian Electricity Management Service, NEMSA, 1,929,000,000 84,782 naira. That is personal. Then overhead, 432,741,935 naira. And then capital, 441,095,414,000. Now total allocation for the NEMSA. Two billion eight hundred and two million nine hundred and twenty three thousand one hundred and thirty one naira. Uh, National Power Training Institute, NEPTEC, seven hundred and seventy million one hundred and seventy two uh, thousand two hundred and eighty three naira for personnel. Overhead, one hundred and thirty three one hundred thousand. That is capital. 294,064,276 naira. Total allocation 1,197,336,559 naira. Nigeria Electricity Liability Management Limited, NEMCO. Uh, personnel 251. Million four hundred eighty six thousand five hundred and sixty two naira. Now overhead nine hundred and fourteen million eight hundred and sixty six thousand six hundred and thirty seven naira. Uh, total allocation one billion four hundred and twenty three million three hundred and fifty eight thousand one hundred and ninety nine naira. Now, Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. No personnel, no overhead, only capital, which is uh, 4,690,742 naira, 464, I think, over Now, total allocation, 4,690,742,000 naira, 464 naira. Uh, grand total, that is personal, 4,904,729,516 naira. Now uh, overhead, 1,164,377,296 naira. Now capital, uh, 198,270 Eight million three hundred ninety-eight thousand six hundred forty-two naira. Then uh, value for the fund is realized to ensure proper accountability, transparency, and integrity. The management of the ministry will ensure regular technical meeting review or progress report on project to ensure its economy of scale taken into consideration the three E of management, effectiveness, efficiency, and economy in the resource utilization. Based on the lesson learned in the implementation of 2020 appropriation, we have all agreed with the mandate of the ministry that all projects, its subsidiaries, and all bilateral funds projects should ensure early planning commencement, early implementation, and early completion. This will ensure adequate monitoring. All of that, now uh, we consider TCN should only be given four billion for one reason. The second reason is, you know, I, 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 when I had this envelope of 25, then I approached the minister. I said, Minister, what happened? Look at my status. Look at the TCN. That the bulk of the work is in the TCN. How do you manage this uh, four billion? 
So what she said to me was, you know, Minister, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of loan with the TC, and this is number one. Secondly, they are also generating revenue, which is huge. They pay themselves salary, and they do this most of this uh, transmission work with their phone. So I think I don't think they will have any issue of phone. So what do I say? But I just have to explain and explain again to her. And then as a result, at the end of the day, I don't know what happened at the end of the day. And then we just saw another huge amount of money that we should share between uh, so, 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 so place. Because so, so, so loans are coming. So we should provide counterpart funding. Most of this money that you see is provided is for the counterpart that we have to give them some of our share or some of the percentage that we have to provide for them to bring their own and then carry on the the work. That is the position. Ato. Abundant, so to say, projects in TCN. I would like to know, are these projects going to be taken over by Siemens? Or how do we intend to execute them? Are we transparent them to Siemens? Or are we or how do you intend to finance those projects? The IGR generated by 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 TCN is mega. Last year it was only 35 billion naira. I'm sure this year it will be low because of the COVID. So they don't have any money. So the onus is on you to go back to the presidency and get more money. That is my own um, sincere advice. Happening, or well, that is what is exactly going to happen. And in fact, and that is why we are also here before you, because you are the one, uh, this parliament is elected by the people to come and represent people, whatever that is wrong, that is not right, and you should set it right. If this money is not given properly, if this budget is not done properly, I think that is why we are here to read what we are giving to you, so that you intervene, we work in synergy, and take the correction. It is not our responsibility, we that are appointed. We are appointed by Mr. President just to carry on the whatever we are given to do. Thank you very much. Uh, you need to define them. And you can't come here and be telling us so, 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 or the woman said so, 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 or you said. So please, could you define what those so, 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 and so, so, so meant? Where the stability will be noticed, will be felt, and it's quite consistent over time. So that is one. Two. Talking about Mambila, does this, you send it? You know Mambila in the budget, but as far as we are concerned, as far as the Ministry of Power is concerned, we have proposed 100 billion naira for Mambila. And we have sent it to the Ministry of Finance. What happened? What happened? What happened? We don't know. And then when the budget came back, there was no tenkobo for Mambila. So it's now before you. Is the present aware? We are starting here now. It's before you. I'm just telling you what is happening now. There is no money again for budget. It's, that is why I think most of these things, the essence of me being here and asking me all this question, and it's to tell you exactly what is happening in the power sector and to defend my budget and also to tell you the important. Did you remove it? Did they remove it? I don't know what is my problem. They, they remove it at all. I, well, <laughs> I cannot say, I can uh, uh, let me not say, yeah. 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 let me, so, uh, so you, let me not say they remove, but uh, as far as I'm, uh. so you can't say, you can't say, you can't say, so, I don't know her is the reason based on to her, she is the one with the money anyway, but and she's also coming to the one of the committees she will face and maybe they will ask her this question, what happened that she removed that money? Maybe she has it. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I allocated money, I propose a budget of one hundred. I send it to the finance and I have not seen anything again. Let me not use the harsh word she removed, but I have not seen my hundred million. Yeah. Well, sure, well, sure, very well. Sure, I adjust my budget in case 
you people have not taken anything. I'm just trying to adjust some budget and also and, uh, do something on it, about it. This budget is detailed, and I have read it in detail. Sorry, not in detail, in figures. I'm looking for a detail. Uh, but, but no so so here. I've not never said anything so so. <laughs> never say anything. So, um, uh, uh, honorable member talking about Genco and also detail about it. You know, in the budget, I don't think uh, it's not that I, 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 I don't know. We and Genco's, I don't think there's much problem anyway. If you talk of Genco's, you have to talk of NBET. Most of their deals, they are the ones to explain more. But if you still want to know, you know, the, what do you call it, uh, the detail, the, 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 the deal between the Genkos and the, maybe the Embed. Uh, one of my special assistants in Embed is here. He can tell you the detail, how do we put this money of uh, semen and how do we recoup our money after some time? Uh, what is the check and balance? And uh, he, will, he, will, he, will, he will give you, with your permission, Mr. Chairman, let me uh, give my... Uh, at all, uh, is he asked the question. Let him understand something a bit that is. So, with the permission of the chairman, first. Wait. No, no. Huh? I'm from Imo State. Honorable Minister, uh, mine is just one question. Uh, I've seen the budget proposal for your ministry, and my question is in line with. Uh, uh, electricity distribution coverage nationwide. There was an outcry about uh, metering and local content in the uh, production of uh, meters. Has this budget captured that very important component in uh, electricity distribution? Uh, Chairman, uh, starting with the Honorable Princess, meter issue that meter issue i think uh, we have resolved there was a time before i even came i think there is map that map it is the responsibility of map it is an agreement between distribution distributors and contractors it's like the government have i told you 60 percent private 40 percent government so in the agreement there the government has now removed hands on this meter issue. They have come to agree with the distribution company. Contractors will go and buy the meters, come and sell it to Discos. Discos will now distribute and then collect their money later. But what is going on right now, because all this that is not forthcoming, I told you, if it is a mistake, we, has, we have made it ab initio by allowing those young courts to come and take over this our business. This mistake has been done already. It's not we, it's not me. Even if it is a correction, it is you people that, that will do the correction. You have to stand on your feet, as you rightly say. It's not the Ministry of Power that will stand on their feet. It is the policy makers. It is the, 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 the you people, the, the, the parliament, will, 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 now, will, will, now, will now say, OK, since this thing is not, uh, is not forthcoming, let's, let's, let's reverse, let's do whatever, whatever. I don't want to go into detail into it, but exactly that is what is happening. This meta business, it is no more government business. However, the ministry or the central bank has yes. recently came in that they will provide some money. It's like free money, so to say, I'm sorry. Not free anyway, but they will now cut some uh, levies that uh, meter providers that are bringing into, like, cut about 35% of it, that they are not going to pay any levy, subsidy, subsidy and the Ministry of now, uh, sorry, the Central Bank will now offset, offset and then will now take responsibility and uh, bring in these meters about, uh, is it three or six million of meters, or 600 that they will provide free of charge, they will give customer free for now, pending when the government take a decision 
on what to do with disco and whatever. That is the position for now. On the issue of, uh, what again? On the issue of uh, 100, uh, 100 million. Uh, we do respect, Mr. Chairman, the honorable member that uh, are praying for the Ministry of Power that they are not, uh, they are not ready and it will not happen. Well, I, let me tend to disagree with you, honorable member. You know, if you are telling me this thing cannot succeed in the hand of professionals, unless you now come up with something, SPV or whatever, that is one of the major problems I started facing now, and I have to see Mr. President and uh, my, 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 my honorable colleagues and professionals, who is the honorable chairman, is, is, is aware. We cannot remove a project of the Ministry of Power and take it to another ministry and tell me that this project will succeed if you say SPB is under finance. That means Ministry of Edic, Minister of Works are not capable. They cannot do this job. It's only Ministry of Finance that can do it. I tend to disagree with that. And that is one of the major problems we are facing. We have to agree. The Mr. The, the Mr. President has to trust somebody to come to this ministry and take this correction. And I'm here, and I want to assure you that this project is going to see the light of the day. And I want to assure you this, provided you are giving us the full backing. All this sometime, uh, you know, uh, sorry, Mr. Honorable Member, to, to, to it, is, it is most time, it is, you just have to agree with me, it is your responsibility. You just have to come out as a parliament and put your position, put your stand, and say this thing should be done. And it will be done. But we cannot come and uh, be saying, uh, uh, this thing is like this, this thing like that. It is the responsibility of the mayor. Somebody is there to sabotage or sabotage. Look at what is happening right now. I'm just waiting for the people, for the German people to come and, and enter into this agreement of contract so that this thing can take off. Because of the SPB you are saying, SPB have now delayed up to three to four months now. They cannot uh, invite a... Uh, uh, German people to come and sign this contract of, of, of cement to take off. So wh what are we talking about cement, about SPV again, or bringing another body that will come and do this job apart from the Ministry of Power? And if the Ministry of uh, Power people are not, are not, are not cooperating, are not, are not ready, if you said, so in as much as we remove it from the Ministry, it will be a sabotage on the people who will not allow it. And it's the same thing. Even if you, if you provide uh, the SPV, the... The, 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 another body that will come and do this project, they will have to be answerable to the Ministry of, uh, of Power. Because one day, one day, when we lose this, the highest, we are all politicians after four months, after four years maximum to be, and we are going. And when we go, where do we get the record? You get somebody from outside to come and do the job for you. When he leaves, he will fall his computer and go with it. All the information is gone. And where do you get the information to say that? Who accounts for what? At what time? So it has to be the Ministry, and the Ministry has to be serious and to do this job whether we like it or not, but we have to take a step that will uh, 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 help us, you know, move this project forward. Thank you very much. Details, because this thing has started even before I come. It was in the office of our leadership um, for proper funding. On any other issue raised, if that you should communicate to us officially. On the absence of any other questions, somebody should raise emotions that we can adjust properly. The motion for journalism.